In this video, we will learn about VS Code workspaces or how the documentation calls them VS Code multi-root workspaces. And why do we need this feature and what it is? Well, let's first start with a pro problem. Let's say that we have one big uh, working directory which contains all our work inside our computer. Maybe imagine this folder that has uh, like 20 different folders. Well, we could open VS Code in such a folder and try to handle each folder on its own. Or uh, let's say that we have an application which consists of a backend and a frontend. Let's say that the backend is in one path on my computer, the frontend is in another path on my computer, and I want to develop them in the same time using VS Code. What can I do? Well, the solution is a workspace. To set up a workspace, I will first open a new window of VS Code. So we will start fresh. I will, oh, I will close this other one. I will close this one. And uh, you can see this, is, uh, this window has no folder opened. This is the dark view, but uh, if this would be the regular view, this would be purple. Well, I can first go to add a folder to workspace. I will select this one and I will go to my specific folder. I will go right here and I will select my backend folder. I will add this folder to our workspace. Now, if I will go to the file explorer view, you will see now that I have this workspace backend folder added. I can add yet another folder. Um, I can add other workspace to our folder. So I will select our front end folder right here. And now I have a workspace which consists on these two folders on my computer. The final step would be to save this workspace. So I will save this workspace as, and I will give it a path. I will, let's just say, I will save it right here. And the extension for this is .code workspace and the name let's just call it my cool app doesn't really matter by saving a workspace this means just saving a json file if i will explore this json file you will see if i will open it with vs code if i will open this with vs code it will simply open it as a workspace but if i will try to simply visualize this file all right yeah I will open it with a text editor. You will see that this code workspace file is nothing that an JSON entry, which consists of the, an array with the folders entry, which consists their path. So this is basically the VS Code workspace. And why would I even want this workspace? Well, at this point, I can handle these two projects in the same time. And when I say handle, I can say, for example, visualize their content i can say search for example i can search for terms and now i will get results from both projects i can uh, handle their source control again in the same time they don't have source control initialized but i can do this and of course i can have uh, debug configurations spe specifically for both of them the last cool thing about them is that now if i will uh, go to my settings if I will go to the gear icon and settings, you'll see I will have a new entry at this point. I have user settings, I have workspace settings, and the settings now for this particular workspace will go into this workspace, so it will affect both of them. If, uh, for example, I will uh, change the font size right here, maybe, okay, save this, and now, I will reload this file and you will see this code workspace file has a new entry called settings, which will be applied to both folders like this. Or I can simply edit any folder. I can uh, select uh, settings for the backend folder right here and maybe change this to 13, save this. And now my backend will have a settings entry, which has the font size 13. And the uh, files from this uh, folder right here will be of size 13 the the other files will be of a bigger file of a bigger size 
Well, just as an example, how we can handle multiple settings for our workspaces. So we saw in this video how we can use VS Code multi-root workspaces.